Probably a common sight overseas, Tom, but in Australia, this is not the norm, is it? No, definitely Turbo not. Turbocharged Hondas, you, you wouldn't, well, it's the only one at the event, isn't it? Yeah, correct. It yeah. actually is. You know, I think the only front wheel drive. There you go. I might be right. I think, I think so. you're yeah. right. Yeah, the only front wheel drive. So, this is actually a B series, and a lot of people I know are really, uh, I don't know, they love B series or K series. And I, I said to you once, would you put a K series in it? You said, no. 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 I just love the B. Yeah. It's just something, I don't know what it is about it, it's just a bit more raw, a little bit less technology, it's just, yeah. I think, yeah. Geordie holding the camera here had a, um, he had a DC2 Integra, and then I had a DC5, I'm getting off topic here, but the, uh, his older one was so much more raw, like the switch Correct. on the VTEC yeah. and everything. I think that's what I like about yeah. it, why I've, I've stuck with it. Yeah, so what size is, is this one? So it's a 1.8 litre dart block, yep. with a dart sleeve. Um, and it's got a standard Type R head, basically, with some okay. big cams. Yep. Yeah. You've, you've been uh, campaigning this for probably, what, five years? Uh, probably, yeah, about five or six years. Mm. Um, it's had a couple of turbo kits on it, and mm. going to stick with this one for now. But but you, to back it up a bit, you had a t you actually had a turbo Type R from memory, I did, I did. Yeah. Probably about 15 or 16 years ago now, I had a yellow 2000, and t 2000 model Type R. Yep, yep. Yeah, that we turboed that, that was my daily. And that was a turboed, I think, stock engine. Yeah, yeah. stock engine with yep. a GD30 on it. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Street yeah. car, yeah. Yeah, but today you've run, what, 10.4? Uh, we've PB'd, yeah, 10.4, 141. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Gearbox, isn't it? I'm running a stock box with some mods in it. Yeah, some mods, so, some, some mods, some backyard mods. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got a cuff in fifth, so yep. no more fifth gear, and we run a longer ratio first gear. Yeah, okay. Just helps us getting out. And yeah, because it's so aggressive. You don't. Well, they're not the tyres you were running, no, but they're, they're not, what, what size are these? Uh, they're 24 and a half by eight, like yeah. full slick, no radials. Not like the ones we see in the states where the whole <laughs> the whole front is a tyre. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, this still looks like a, a road car in, as such, doesn't it? Yeah, that was the idea, and then it snowballed, so. It's not really a street car anymore. Mm. I don't drive it often, so mm. let's just take it out when we can. When we can and Do you want to pop the bonnet? Give, yeah. us, give us a bit of a look. So what turbo are we running now? It's a GDW3884. Oh, yeah. But it's got the small wheel, the 62 mil wheel. Again, I did that because I used to have a 35 on it, and I wanted a similar response, thinking it was going to stay a street car. But mm. I think I should have went the 67, but eh, we can always upgrade it. So what type of diff do you run in something like this? Uh, it's actually got a standard Type R diff. It does okay. It probably does need an upgrade, but... I was going to wait for when I do a box, like a PPG or Auburn's, I'm not sure. Have you ever broken one? Like Not a box. Not a box. Drive shafts, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Every day of the week. So that's all step factory Honda? Yeah, I've just upgraded to bigger 36 mil hubs. Okay. So they, they have been a lot better and we've done probably about seven passes this weekend and I haven't had to put a spanner on the car, so that's always a plus. Just an oil check, water check and... What do you spin this to? We usually shift at about nine, just after. Didn't want to turn it too hard because then we've got to pull the head off every so often and yeah, rebuild yeah, it, yeah. smash valve seats and stuff. So we just said, oh, we'll just keep it tame and until we get a bit more serious and, and, and change some stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's still got like a steel rod in it. So it was nothing special. We built it like eight, nine years ago. Yeah, yeah, I remember when you did it. This is how out of touch I am with the Honda scene. I didn't even realise Dart made a block. For... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they make uh, Ford, Chevy and uh, Honda. That's, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, but they stopped making the 1.8. They make yeah. a 2 litre only now. Which is something we've been thinking about, but it means I've got to start from scratch with everything. Yeah. So, I, I mean, And it, it's still good. It's just a matter of upgrading some stuff, pull it apart. Give it some rings, maybe an alloy rod. We're just not sure where we're going to go with it. And a recent change that the, the guys were telling me you, you can do flat shifting now with the with a stock styled gearbox. Yeah, we just set up a like a, a shift cut switch, mm -hmm. and I use the um, like the brake pedal switch on a clutch pedal. So I still clutch, but I just hold it flat and just yeah. pull the gear, and it cuts and it works. First gear's a little bit there nah, because I'm still riding the clutch as I leave the line, and I'm hitting a shift cut oh, yeah. point. 
So, so this we, isn't done through the Honda. It's just set, it's something uh, separate. It, it is set through that, but yeah. it's just it's just the mechanical way of driving. It just oh, doesn't yeah. all work. So yeah. we've had to eliminate it in first gear and just deal with it. And second, third, and fourth is is grouse. So it works well. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice little combination. Yeah, it's in Australia. This is um. I love the Honda stuff, but you don't see much of it at all, to be honest. No, definitely not. There's a few guys, like yeah. uh, Luke from, um, from, Pro from Probably Sydney. more so up here and in Queensland. Yeah, in that's right. Where we are, down south. Yeah. So Luke's a great help. Like, I have to shout out to him. He's helped us this weekend and last year as well uh, from Alice Auto, Auto Works. Yep. He's got the fastest Del oh, Sol those in, guys in were Australia. Way ahead of anyone, yeah. weren't they? Like he's, yeah. And he's a great guy, awesome help. Come give us a hand last night, this morning. Uh, his, his knowledge and experience is amazing and just he's happy to help, you know, so. Do you think you could run a nine on, on this setup? Or? I think it has the power to. I think I need to get my driving up to scratch. Can but, you push uh, much more boost out of this combination or is it? Tuna is not keen. It mm. was never built to make this much. Yeah, and it's okay. already pushing 30 pounds of boost. Makes just over 500 kilowatts. Okay, yep. He wasn't keen in doing that and we sort of forced him and it's held on. Mm. So. I, I think there's enough power, I just got to get, it, get yeah. it to work. Yeah. So it's a little bit inconsistent because it's you know, all mechanical driven. I want to add a clutch slipper, which will make it a lot easier and that'll, that'll slip the clutch for me. So we'll probably go down that route before we make any drastic changes, but we are looking into a new ECU soon. Have you ever weighed it? Like, yeah, curiously? today actually, 2580 pounds okay, as, okay. I, as I race it. Yep. Like just drove straight through after a run. Yep. So. so it's not the lighter Civic, it's still got all the interior in, all the plastics, all the nonsense. Is that what, the, is that what you call in the States, is that what they call a staging brake? Yes. Yeah? So how does, how does this work? This isn't something we see that often in a... Well, because I originally designed to drive it on the street, we, um, we tap into the rear brake lines, yeah. so it hydraulically locks the rear brake lines as opposed to the handbrake with a cable. Okay. Um, so then I can obviously bite the clutch without having my oh, needing yes, three feet, yeah. so I use and my you've got hand. And you've got a lot more control over Correct. The, yeah, yeah. the handbrake. So it literally can lock or I can release because it's hydraulically and just creep the car forward, like, like mm. a bumping basically. So it helps a lot, especially with launching. Mm. Yeah, Your so. gear shifter to me seems too low, but... Factory position, factory yeah. you like a lot of that. gear knob, yeah, it yeah. feels comfortable, yeah. so. It's impressive that the gearboxes hold up, isn't it? Like, what you do to yeah. them, the Honda stuff. The guys in US reckon they run 9.0 on a standard box with a similar setup to how I have, so, yeah, okay. I, yeah, look, they do push a lot more horsepower, but I don't think I'll get a 9.0. I'd be happy with like a low 10, like a little yeah, bit lower, yeah. maybe 9.90, but I think we've got the launch pretty good this weekend, but then it was like one thing after another, there was a, a misshift or a, like just like I said, a bog, a little bit too much boost, a little bit not enough. It's pretty tricky to get there, but... You'd probably get this down Heathcote now, wouldn't you? Uh, it has done really well there. Yeah. Um, like we didn't PB or anything, but we managed to get the car down and we did a lot of testing there before we come here for this clutch switch and, and yeah. flat shifting. Yeah. And now that we've sort of we usually come here, we get momentum, and then we go back home and try and go straight away because it's all fresh. I hope we can go out next week or two, weather permitting, and see mm. if we can go even faster. Obviously, with cars like this, you know, it's usually not a one-man show. Is there anyone you'd like to, to thank? Yeah, my, my brothers who come to every meet, every yeah. whatever it is, backyard, we're working on it or not. Um, uh, our auto elect Mitch, uh, he owns Truckworks Auto, auto, auto Electrics. Uh, Mark Damascopoulos not here this weekend, but he usually comes racing with us. Uh, like I said, Lukey before, who every time we're away here comes and helps. Our tuner and engine builder, Craig Pisa from PSR Tuning. Uh, awesome guy, always on the phone, laptop, whatever we need. That's a great help. My wife and kids. My daughter's here this weekend, first yeah. time, she loves it. I noticed that, yeah, that's uh, cool. All, all the boys that just help out, chip in. Um, the panel shop painted the car, on duty panels, back in Melbourne. Yeah, just everybody who helps, just a great guys from GCG here in Sydney, they support us, supplies our turbos and stuff. Um, Ivan from um, 3XCE, he supplies all our comp clutches. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, thanks for uh, giving us some time to uh, no, no show us over your Honda. No problem, thanks a lot guys.
It is beanie season. So look at this. Got them in every colour. You were saying everyone just buys black, yeah? Everyone just buys black. I don't even know why I bothered getting these coloured ones done, but... Blue, pink. I think I've got a pink one for you. I personally like the dark grey. That's what I wear. If there's anything you guys would like to see on a sticker or a t-shirt, let us know. We'll try and get it going, yeah? Hey, in Australia, this is this is a perfect streetcar. Everything, everything's a streetcar here. <laughs> it's a streetcar, yeah, yeah, yeah. 